Hey, did you know that you could create a web page right in Adobe Express without having to have any knowledge of web design or HTML or anything other than just what you want to say and how you want it to look? So once you log into Adobe Express, just hit the plus sign. And at the very bottom, almost at the bottom, you'll see Create Web Page. When you create a web page, you'll get a choice of themes over on the right hand side. So you can pick from your branded themes or some of the ones that have been built in uh, since day one. So I like Chic. And then once you're there, you put the themes away and you can just really get started. So I could say my photographic journey. And I can put in, you know, whatever else I want to say, like by Terry White. If I want to add a background photo, I can just click photo and it'll let me choose from any of my various photo sources, such as Lightroom, upload a photo, get it from Creative Cloud, so forth and so on. I'm just going to use one of the free ones here as an example, and it will just put it as a nice background image. From that point on, you just scroll and continue to tell your story. So if you want to add a photo next, click photo. You want to add some text next, click text button, a video, a photo grid, which is a bunch of photos in a grid, a glide show, which is a slideshow of photos, or a split layout where you might have an image on one side and text on the other. So let's say I just want to add some simple text. I can either paste it in or type it in right now. So I can just say, um, for example, my journey begins here. And I can keep going. You get the idea. And then once I hit the plus sign again, so you notice I can put something above it or something below it, and that's the way it works from here on out. I want to add another photo. I just click photo, and then I can grab a different photo. And once that photo comes in, it'll pop up with all my choices for how that photo will look. So I can make that photo full screen. I can make it just a window where you scroll up and down past the photo, or I can just make it in line, so forth and so on. But you get the idea. Once you design it, you can just go back and change it to anything you want or keep it the way it is. Next, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a split layout because I think that's one of the cool things you can do here. And you can add an image on one side. So let's go ahead and pick another one of the freebies here. And once I pick the image on the, on the left hand side, I can then go ahead and put whatever I want on the right hand side. So I can just put more text. Um, I love portrait photography. All right, so you get the idea. You would just rinse and repeat. Just keep adding more. You can rearrange things, move things around, change how they look, change the design any way you want. Once you're done, you would go ahead and click the share button, and that would allow you to sh publish your um, your page. And it, Adobe's going to host it for you. You can even pick a category that it's going to go into, and you can choose whether or not it's public, meaning that other people that Adobe will promote it and it gets noticed or you just keep it private that only you share the link. Either way, when you create a link, it'll be a generic, or I'm sorry, it'll be a unique link for your particular page that you can share as much as you want to as many people as you want. I'm gonna show you one that I've been working on right here on the next tab over. It's my um, home studio gear guide. Um, I did a master class on a, doing a live shoot and I'm showing all the various equipment that I used during that shoot. So with all the links for people that they can go check out the equipment and buy it if they want. And um, I actually, since I completed that master class, I wanna go ahead and drop in the video link for that class. So I'm just gonna drop it in right in the middle here. I'm gonna click video. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the, the YouTube URL for that video. And there it is, it pulls it from YouTube and serves it up. Now, since I've already published this particular page, I can continue to update it as much as I want. So once I choose publish and share link again, you notice now mine says update the link because my link's already been generated. So I'll just hit update link. It'll take a few seconds. And then once that link has been updated, I can just go ahead and, um, well, I don't have to do anything. I've already shared out the link. Anyone that has that link will already see the updates the next time they go to that page. Or I can copy the link out again and share it as many times as I want. So let me give you a quick preview of what this page looks like. And here it is. So I've got the nice background image up there. There's my video that we can play in line. Um, and there's the video playing. Of course, I can just go ahead and scrub to any part of it. We can click out of it and continue to scrub down the page. And of course, any of my links, if they click the link, will actually take them out to a new page for that particular item. So that was allowing me to quickly create and publish a web page in Adobe Express without having to have any knowledge of web design whatsoever. And that's just a great benefit. 
that you may not have known about, about Adobe Express. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.